I miss the old Kanye, straight from the gold Kanye, chop up the soul Kanye, set on his goals Kanye. Hi right, guys, welcome to a different kind of video. Um, this one is a three-part series. I'm going to do one each week for the next couple, uh, next three weeks. It's I'm going to do my five worst uh, picks of this season, my five best rookies that I had play all year, and my five best picks. Uh, for the season, um, I'm not going to go off like uh, the five best players of the season, like the five big scoring guys. Uh, I'm just going to go off guys that I picked that maybe other teams didn't, or that had a low percentage of. Um, yeah, these players had a low percentage in teams, and that have scored really well for me and done me pretty well all year. Um, same thing with uh, the five worst picks. I'm going to pick players that weren't necessarily picked by other people that scored pretty shit. Um, and yeah, so we're going to go ahead and do that. So this week's video, I'm going to, I'm going to do the five, uh, five worst players that I picked for the year. Um, so coming in at the fifth worst player that I picked this year was Sam Power Pepper. Um, uh, keeping in mind that at the start of the year, he was traveling pretty poor. Um, I haven't checked his stats of recent, but I've watched a couple of Port games and he's he's been scoring all right, I think. So if we have a look at his season. So yeah, um, he played the first three rounds and then he got that club suspension or the AFL suspension for something that happened in a nightclub. I'm not too sure, but his first three round scores, 62, 76 and 56. So pretty, pretty subpar. And then he gets suspended and he doesn't come back to round eight. So if he missed five rounds. Obviously, I wasn't hanging on to him. I traded him out. Come round eight, he had 81 on his debut game back. And then the next week at Gold Coast, he had 128, followed up by 74 at the Hawks a week after, 86 after that. And then a string of pretty decent scores, 96, 96, 105, 96, 102, and then a poor 36, and then 59 last week. So... From the start, yes, shit scores, gets his suspension and comes back and actually scores pretty all right from then on. Um, so, you know, you can kind of justify his form from round eight onwards, but the first three rounds and the suspension, obviously uh, I had to trade him out and he wasn't scoring too well for me. And his last two weeks have been pretty subpar. But yeah, from round nine to round 16... He strung together some pretty decent scores. So, But yeah, so he was number five on the list. Uh, coming in after Sam Power Pepper was Alan Christensen, um, my fourth worst pick. So again, I had him from the start. He was right in from, um, like he was drafted into my team. And I thought he was going to have a decent year. Um, his first few rounds, uh, they didn't sort of, suggest he was going to so the first round he had 66 and the second round he had 101 so that's you know you take that round 374 round 498 and then he strings together some some sub pass scores 54 74 61 56 then he gets back into a bit of form with 93 and then 100 and then he drops to a negative three i'm pretty sure i still had him in my side when he got that score i think that's what made me pull the trigger and then since then, pretty subpar, 83, 70, 71, 47, 52, 68, and 48. Um, I picked him because when he, you know, he was one of my favorite players when he played for Geelong. He was a decent player. I thought, yeah, he, he would have scored well. And no uh, not many people would picked him at the start or at all. So I thought maybe he might be a guy that scores well. And if I had him from the start, it could give me a bit of an advantage. But it backfired, so... That's old Bundy. Um, next on the list after Bundy was uh, Ben Reed from Collingwood. Um, I'm not too sure. I, th I don't know if he got injured in the end, or but he did have... I remember he had some pretty poor um, scores at the start of the year. Let's have a look. So, yeah, I think yeah he's only played six or seven rounds for the year. So first round one against Hawthorne, 72. Then he missed round two. And then round three, he got 83. Round four, 70. Round five, 34. Round six, 54. And round 10, 55. Um, 
not I can't really remember, and he obviously hasn't played since. He's obviously injured. Um, I think, yeah, I think he'd be in Collingwood's best side. But yeah, he some subpar scores, and of course injuries they they don't help you. But again, I picked him at the start, thinking, oh, you know, maybe he might be a good scorer. He wasn't in a high percentage of, of other teams. Um, and again, you, I was kind of trying to pick some guys that weren't playing elsewhere and trying to, you know, get some scores out of them and and sort of advance ahead of the pack. They're not to not not to be. But yeah, so that was Ben Reed. Uh, he was the third worst pick. Um, I was going like back, like fifth worst, fourth first, first third worst. Second worst pick of the year. I brought him in in round two or three, maybe four. Gold Coast Tom Lynch. Uh, hang on, where is he? Is it Tom Lynch? How do you spell his last name? Oh, Tom J Lynch. Got to put the J in there, boys. So. Um, yeah, round one seventy seven, round two one hundred and eighty, massive score. I think I saw that score and brought him in. I think that's what it was. Um, I rate him. I thought he was going to have a big year, like massive, massive goal scoring year. Round three sixty seven, round four sixty seven, round five seventy one, round six fifty one. Then he misses a couple of weeks, comes back against Geelong fifty three. Then a 35, a 95, and an 88, and he hasn't played since round 14. So some sub, he had one big score, and then just really subpar scores from then, um, and a couple of injuries to kind of miss some weeks. So yeah, I think I brought him in in round three, and then after he was injured against Adelaide, he'd, he'd strung together four or five shit games, and I, I traded him out. Um, and yeah, so he was the second worst pick for me. Just scoring wise and availability wise, because he was injured, and yeah, so that brings us to the number one, uh, the number one worst pick for me this season. I picked him from the start. Um, All Australian last year, I fully backed him. Backed him in this year. Um, I think in one of my earlier videos. I pegged him to be the Coleman medalist to kick 100 goals this season. That was big. Joey Danaher. Um, I think like a lot of people, I had expectations on Essendon being uh, definitely a top eight side. And I think that the form they're in at the moment, they're going to they're gonna get there. But the start of their season was pretty bleak. And I think a lot of it had to do with, um, I don't know if they're, game plan was to go directly to Danaher and if in him to have contests and all their small forwards around him to be crumming but it, he just he just wasn't performing round 1 58 round 2 38 round 3 65 round 4 93 round 5 67 round 6 39 round 7 38 so definitely subpar scores uh round 7 was the last game he played he's got that osteitis pubis issue um I did read an article on Twitter maybe yesterday or the day before that he won't be playing for the rest of the home and away season and if Essendon make finals, they, they could potentially bring him back. If I'm them, I'm probably not bringing him back just because the way that they're playing is fucking unreal. It's probably, it's really, really up there with Richmond when it comes to the best footy in the comp, the way Essendon are playing at the moment. So... You know, if I'm the coach, I'm not messing with that. I just let Danaher sit the rest of the season out and um, get him right for next year. Yeah. So, but yeah, that's that's my five worst picks for the year. Um, definitely, some weeks it cost me for sure. But you know, with you know, that's that's the sort of thing you learn. Like, I, I, this is the first uh, full proper season of super coach I've ever played there's been previous years where I've started and I got like two or three four rounds in it and pulled the pin I learned a lot if you go back to some of my first videos um you can kind of tell that I didn't know what I was doing like round two I had Gary Ablett as captain and Tom Mitchell as uh vice captain and they they played each other Hawthorne and Geelong in round two so it's shit like that that I saw. I've I went, I've recently gone through my videos, 
because uh, I got this idea off um, Super Coach George. He he's done a couple of videos in the last few weeks of like the best ten, 10 best picks and ten best or worst picks. Um, like that was just overall for Super Coach. So I decided to just yeah go about do mine, my worst and best picks, and uh, I went through my old videos to find out who I did have and who who I traded out and stuff. And that's when I realised I had no fucking idea what I was doing at the start. Still sort of don't, but yeah. So next season when I come back again and do it, I'll um I'll have a lot more information and know what I'm doing a lot better. So that'll be cool. But yeah, so that's my worst five uh picks of the season. Uh the next video I'm gonna do is my five best rookies that I had throughout the season and then the video after that will be my five best picks that I think um have done me pretty well. Right, lads, that's the video. Hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, I'll see you fucking next time. Catches. I hate the new Kanye, the bad mood Kanye, the always rude Kanye, spazzing the news Kanye. I miss the sweet Kanye, chop up the beast Kanye.